Hi, we're going to talk today about how to create this sofa and it's certainly applicable to being able to create this sofa. You'll be able to create other soft type um, pieces of furniture. And um, with any piece of furniture that you're going to create in 3D, it's always important to have an image or a picture of that piece of furniture and you need to take the time to be able to write down all the dimensions of that piece of furniture. So, you know, even if it's not telling you how thick the cushions are, you know, just making a determination, you know, this is 18 inches, well, this is about 10, um, and then you have a two inch foot and you have a six inch um, cushion, you know, just something so that you are able to have all the sizes and dimensions placed on everything. How big is this arm? How big is the back? Um, and have all of those dimensions at your fingertips so that when you go to create it, um, you're not just guessing what the size of things are. So um, we're going to uh, create this piece of furniture by starting with a new family. Um, so we're going to go to new family and we're going to select furniture. Anytime you create a piece of furniture, you want to use the furniture uh, model for that. And again, the reason for that is so that Revit is able to count your furniture as furniture in a furniture schedule. Um, so I'm going to say open on that. And I'm going to start with the base of my sofa, um, which was the bottom. And if we look at um, the sofa that I've already created, you can see here that this is kind of a typical um, 90 inch sofa if I measure it uh, from one end to the other. And um, I have on either end here, I have seven inch arms. Um, and then in the center of that um, is about seven feet. Um, so if I go to my new family, and I'm just going to create an extrusion for that base, so I'm just going to create a regular extrusion um, that is seven feet long and about two feet deep. So there we have the base of my sofa, and I'm going to start that two inches off the floor because I have feet on my sofa. Um, and again, I discussed that before, I was going to make that ten inches tall, um, so I'm going to end that at one foot apply and check. Okay, so there I have the base of my sofa. So in order to create the cushions that go on my sofa, I need to create something that's a little bit softer and I'm going to do use that by creating two different things. So number one, I'm going to create a profile of what the side of my sofa cushion looks like. So I'm going to say new family and I'm going to select profile. And a profile is something that you use when you want to be able to create a shape that you're going to use on a sweep. Um, it also gets used on railing shapes and all kinds of different things. Um, so I'm just going to use my line tool and I'm going to create a shape that looks like my sofa cushion. And I had mentioned before that I thought that my sofa cushion was about um, six to seven inches. Um, right next to the edge of that sofa cushion, I need to create some straight lines because if I don't create straight lines, it's difficult to create um, what the middle of that looks like. Okay, um, I'm then going to just, you know, kind of create a line that's over here somewhere so that I have an idea of where center is. And I'm going to create a line that kind of comes up um, with a curve. And at this point, you're just kind of eyeballing what it is that you want to do with your sofa cushion because, um, you know, you don't really know specifically um, what that looks like. So you don't really have an idea of you know precisely how much of a curve it is. So you're just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm just going to um, mirror that to the other side. And get rid of that center line. So then I have something that looks like that, which kind of looks like if you're, you're looking at that kind of edge of the sofa cushion. If my sofa cushion had piping that was in the same color, um, I could then create a little circle here at the edge of that that looks like piping. And I could do some trimming. And I need to split my circle in order to trim it. Okay, so then I would have something that looked like that with a little, you know, piece of piping on the edge that would go all the way around, or I can just have a cushion that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to save this, save as, 
and still saving as a family. Um, in my project, I like to create a separate folder for profiles because you'll have quite a few of those. And then I'm going to load it into my project. And the project I'm going to load it into is that new family that I'm working on, my new sofa family. Okay. So then I'm going to create a sweep. So I'm going to create um, a cushion for my sofa. And I know that my sofa is uh, 7 feet or eight, um, 84 inches. And so if I divide that by 3, I have something that's about 28 inches in size. So I'm just going to create um, a sweep. And so I'm going to say sweep. And I'm going to say sketch path. And then I'm going to draw something that looks about the shape of a cushion. So I said that was 28 inches. So we have 2 foot 4 would be about the size of that. And we want a little bit of space so that you're able to have that in there. And then I like to be able to create, um, you know, something that has a little bit of a curve to it. Um, so I may take my square here and make that just a little bit smaller. And again, you know, being able to make that about two foot four, but just a little bit less than that because I want a little bit of a gap between my cushions, even though there isn't one, just so that you're able to have that gap so you can show it. So then I would just take my um, arcs and go around the edge of this so that I'm creating something that, again, has a little bit of give to it. Um, the more you create some of these little arcs, the more your project is able to, you know, your cushion is able to look just a little bit more soft um, rather than looking like, you know, again, a square box that you wouldn't want to sit on. And so there you can see there I have a square that's kind of, you know, not completely square. The edges of it are round. Keep in mind that whenever you try and do a sweep, if you try and create too much of a curve, too drastic of a curve on those edges, if I tried to curve this corner or fillet it um, on the edge, it probably wouldn't sweep for me. And that's just the way a sweep works. So I'm going to hit check. And then under my profiles here, I'm going to select that sofa cushion that I had put in here. Now you need to look at that in 3D and see if your sofa cushion um, profile is going the right way. And you can see my sofa cushion is going the right way, but it's sitting outside of my profile. So it would make a, a sweep around the outside. And I don't want to make a sweep around the outside. So I need to move that in. And I've moved that in the wrong direction. So I'm going to move that four inches um, in the X direction, which is just a little bit not far enough. Five inches. Let's go four and a half. So then you can see that the edge um, of my profile is now inside of my sweep. And so I'm just going to hit check. And right now my profile is, uh, my whole sweep is inside of my um, extrusion. So I'm just going to move that up off of the floor. So I'm going to look at it from the front and I can see my um, sweep that I've created there. And I'm going to just move that up. I'm going to select move. And I'm going to select disjoin so that it'll move. And I'm going to move that up so that it's sitting on top of my sofa. And then just use my arrow keys to kind of get that to be a little bit more solid. Okay, so that's great. But if you look at it in 3D, um, you know, again, it's just the, like a donut of the, of the cushion. So I need to create a center. So I go to create an extrusion. I'm going to use pick lines, which is the green line. I'm going to hover over one of them and hit the tab key so that I get all four. And you can see I have all four going around, and I'm, I'm not going to worry about the height. I'm just going to hit check. So then I'm going to look at it from the front, and you can see my height there. And I'm just going to make that, use my air, the arrows here to line it up with the cushion um, so that it's lined up. And you want to make sure that it's lining up exactly there. Um, and under view, you can change that to thin lines just so you can see what's happening. So when I go back to reference level, I'm going to go to create, um, and I'm going to... Um, use join to be able to have these two things be one thing. Um, so if I select one of them, I get join here, and I can select one and then the other, and then that donut appearance um, goes away, and then you have something that looks like a soft cushion. Um, I can then take that soft cushion and copy it, because I have three of them. And I'm going to check the multiple here so I can copy it more than once. And there we have three cushions on the base of my sofa. Now you may need to do that join command again with these other two so that you're able to have the cushions um, look like the base. 
Okay, so the last part we're going to do in this part one of creating a sofa is create the arms. And I'm going to do that looking at it from the front. So I'm going to look at it from the front and I'm going to create um, an extrusion. And again, this is all based on what your sofa may look like. Your sofa, you know, may not look this way. Um, and the the arms of my sofa um, are, are tw 25 inches. So I'm going to go to that two foot one so that I have that there. Um, I'm going to go over my seven inches and back down. And then I'm going to round that out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use my fillet command and I'm going to make that a radius of an inch and a half. And I'm just going to select one line and then the other. Okay, so you can see that there. And again, I'm not going to worry about my start and stop because I'm just going to adjust that from the top. So then I'm going to look at it from the top. You can see that's way in the wrong spot. And I'm going to use my arrows to adjust that so that it is in the right place. Um, I'm then going to copy it and I'm going to uncheck multiple so I only have one. And again, making sure that I'm moving that in a straight direction, that I'm not, you know, moving up and down or sideways, using my arrow keys to nudge that into place. So there we have um, the cushions and the arms and the base. And in part two of this, we'll talk about the back and the legs. Thanks.